The Tom Quayle and Martin Miller AZs are finally here. So Ibanez announced the AZ series a little while ago. It's before... Just before now, and we had uh, old Lee uh, Rath down. Right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And we took a look at some of the uh, the new ACs then. Yeah, the standard line. Yeah. Um, so what's arrived now is the Tom Quayle and the Martin Miller signature models. And the deal with those is um, when Ibanez were trying to create the AZ uh, series, um, they were trying to make the ultimate player's guitar. So yeah, course, they were they were trying to step away from from them from their guitars being so shreddy and so metally, and kind of making them a little bit more versatile and for the modern player. Well, yeah, exactly. And so they went to sort of people who were the absolute pinnacle of modern playing, and of course, I guess that falls into people who are a bit jazz fusiony. So who better than Tom Quayle and and Martin also Miller. sort of Martin Miller yeah. for that sort of thing. Um, so kind of these these are part of the AZ series, but they have some really unique. I am digging these guitars as well. They're, They're great. so cool. They are great. I mean, everyone's moving towards this this whole baked maple neck, yeah. which is cool. it's totally on trend for now. I wonder if in like twenty years we're going to look back on this a bit like we look on uh, on sort of EMGs. These remind me a lot of, of Music Men. Yeah. You know, the the John Petrucci and the, the, for me, there's a similar vibe with them. Well, it's that, isn't it? It's a guitar that's made um, uh, kind of with playing first and then it's not it's not trying to be, because the guitar's always, they're either trying to be retro, like Strats and Tellies, or they're trying to be, you know, super modern, like, you know, a lot of the sort of metal guitars. Um, these are just trying to be perfect for playing on. Mm. Do you, do you think do you think Fender and Gibson and that have an equivalent? Um, I mean, I think the Fender professionals are Fender making their traditional guitars in a in a sort of modern way, and I, I think to to a sort of similar extent, the elites Gibson do their high performance. I range. don't think they're quite there yet, though, in terms of that modern. Well, in both in both cases, in both Gibson and Fender, they have to kind of rely on. They, they still have to use the framework of those pre-existing guitars, which are yeah, retro. Yeah, of course, of course. Whereas Ibanez can just make a blank canvas, which is exactly what they've done here. I mean, certainly these AZ, AZs came out and then we saw like Charvel putting out those the DK24s, DK which yeah. were absolutely a stab at this sort of guitar. And of course, Music Man have seen massive success from their uh, James Valentine this year, which again is a, a similar format. <laughs>
the, the roasted maple necks on the AZs are slightly different from everyone else's because it's not just um, it's not just a case of them being uh, roasted. They actually go for go through like um, uh, it's called a S-Tech. It's like a, a torrifying process to the wood, which uh, is supposed to increase stability. Um, it's something that I think Yamaha introduced on like their Billy Sheehan Attitude bases and some of their high-end. Okay. Uh, pianos, but it's like it's a, it's a mad feature to be a, occurring on, you know, a sort of. And what does it do? An affordable. What's it, the it advantage? Just, it literally just improves the stability oh. of of the neck. So the idea is, if you're a player, you're probably travelling with this guitar a lot. Well, this one will uh, need far less setups with uh, with that treatment on the neck, which I think is is super cool. But spec wise, we should talk about like the. How yeah. the specs differ between these? I mean, there's some similarities. So, so this is uh, what is this? What the top? Yeah, yeah. The top is this, really unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monkey pod. It's right. Called. I've never seen that on on a um, on a on a guitar pod. pod. Monkey pod. Uh, Tom Quayle said he was recommended it by Ibanez, so it's not something he chose chose sort of like completely off of his own back. But he was looking for uh, he was looking for a nice natural wood grain finish that would complement the older body that he's gone for so yeah, yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be quite a sort of a spanky clean sounding um top for his guitar which is super cool so yeah that that's so that's it. older and obviously we got roasted maple yeah roasted and, maple in both cases and then we've gone for a hss confer yeah pickup configuration yeah with seymour duncan hyperions and it's the seymour duncan hyperions that you get in in both of these guitars yeah. as well or obviously I'm, I'm, hh on the hh uh, and mahogany on the miller Mahogany body with a with a flame maple cap on the Miller, Alder Monkey Pod on the Tom Quail, HSS HH, but both high, Seymour Duncan Hyperions, um, which is pretty cool, and coil tappable in both cases as well. And as we were talking about earlier, like those those subtle differences are are suited to to the players themselves, yeah. Martin Miller and, and Tom Quail. Those little subtle differences just edge them these guitars towards. Their style, and I kind of think that's the thing about the AZs. The AZs are like a because they're a player's guitar. They're so almost moddable in the direction that you want to go. So Tom Quayle, known for like his jazz fusion playing, so you know he uses quite a lot of crunch, very sort of modern. That kind of, I mean, I find it's quite an '80s sound. It's that sort of. It's not high gain. It's like crunchy and leady, mm. but it's. Um, it, you know, for all his legato stuff, he goes for that sort of thing, and then, he, but he also does a load of traditional jazz as well. So, so the single calls allow him to do the strat here. Exactly. So he can be super spanky, yeah, get yeah, that yeah. strat tone, but he can also get that. He can also switch that humbucker and get a nice crunchy lead tone with this. Whereas Martin Miller. But he's still he's still quite traditional. So this is still older, twenty two frets. Whereas Miller is far 24. more. Yeah, 24 frets, mahogany body, because whilst he's jazz fusion as well, he also does a lot of like guest spots in metal bands, a lot of guest solos and things like that. So he's got the 24 frets. I mean, he says himself, like, he doesn't especially use them, but actually for his line of work, when he's doing metal stuff, he needs those couple of frets. And as like a traveling musician, and bear in mind, these guitars are designed for players, he doesn't want to have to bring a couple of different guitars so this this has 24 frets so that it's suited for every situation but yeah you can obviously see the metal influence on miller's setup yeah. mahogany body hh 24 frets and then the sort of more traditional even down to like strat knobs hss order 22 frets like this is like a slightly trad version of the az and this is like a slightly modern version of the az <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the Tom Quayle and Martin Miller Ibanez AZ signature models. What did you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we shall see you very soon.